Friday night and Saturday. I mean, really, here's the deal. We'll break it down. 1 to 4 inches by 7 p.m. tomorrow. Really hasn't, haven't changed this. 8 to 14 overnight. Oh, yes, we'll probably have thunder snow tomorrow night late after midnight. 6 to 12 inches on Saturday. Finish your errands by morning and then less. 4 to 12 inches down to do uh, southern Maryland for some rain and some sleet and a mixture. So that's, that's the deal. Future cast, let me show you this real quickly now. We'll advance this. Clouds come in quickly tomorrow morning. You're OK and through the early morning hours. Early morning rush will be OK, but then by 1230 we have accumulating snow in Culpeper and Manassas, and it's going to work its way from southwest to northeast. OK, so it'll eventually get into town and eventually work its way over toward Albany and Fairfax and across into Montgomery County. We will come back. We'll have some tips on some things you can do to prep before the storm hits. We will be talking about it constantly. Topper, thanks. More now on the breaking news that we shared with you here at the top of the show. Metro has shut down service for buses and rails this weekend. WSA 9's Mola Lenghi with us now live with the details from Metro headquarters. So Mola, bring us up to speed. Oh yeah, some pretty significant changes uh, during the course of this uh, oncoming blizzard. Metro, uh, the entire system that includes rail, bus, and metro access will be closed uh, for the entire weekend in anticipation uh, of the uh, blizzard uh, that we are expecting. Here are the details. Rail service will be suspended both above and below ground, the entire system, starting at 11 p.m. tomorrow night. So at 11, after that, no more rail service system-wide. Bus service will be suspended beginning at 5 p.m. tomorrow. No more bus pickups after 5. Metro access, the transit service for people with disabilities, will be suspended uh, after 6 p.m. tomorrow and remain closed uh, Saturday and Sunday. Again, all three platforms, metro access, bus, and the rail system, will remain closed Saturday and Sunday. Metro GM Paul Whittefield says the aim is to be back up and running uh, by Monday morning as soon as possible uh, to resume normal services, but he does stress that will depend on the weather as well as road conditions and how quickly they can get the above ground rails plowed and cleared off. We definitely understand the importance that Metro plays in the region uh, for the entire region, but it's our responsibility to make sure that everyone, uh, our customers are treated and, and uh, transported safely and our employees are safe. Metro GM uh, Whittefield says suspending service is really a twofold uh, mission here. One is that uh, the safety of the riders and employees, which you heard him say right there, but he says the other is to protect the equipment, the trains and the buses. Uh, they'll be able to house the equipment in storage in garages. Uh, and in the case of the trains, uh, since service will be suspended, they'll be able to keep the trains in the underground tunnels and protected uh, from the snow and the ice. Live at Metro headquarters, I'm Mola Lenghi for WSA 9. Thank you. Now, the biggest risk of life and limb tomorrow is to people who are well, just not paying attention. Across the region, emergency managers are urging people to prepare now and stay home tomorrow and Saturday after the wind starts to blow and the snow starts to fall. Bruce Lachan is live in Northwest with more on the preparations here in the DMV. Bruce? Yeah, Leslie and Adam, this is serious and it is really critical to remember that this is the kind of weather that can be deadly. Two people may have already died trying to stay warm or in traffic. And the best way to keep yourself safe is to get ready long before this storm hits. One thing is certain. There is no way crews will be caught by surprise by this next storm. Our state is taking every precaution. Maryland's governor says the National Guard is standing by and thousands of road and power company crews are preparing for a blizzard of high winds and heavy wet snow crushing the region for a day and a half. Make sure you have food and supplies at home, not just to last for the weekend, but enough to last up to an entire week. Up to a week to dig out. That caught a lot of us by surprise. Wow. On hand. I hadn't heard of that. I don't think I have a week's supply of on food on hand. No way. Yeah. D.C.'s mayor and the governors of Maryland and Virginia have all declared states of emergency for Friday. I've lived in D.C. most of my life, and I don't know that I have lived uh, through a forecast like this. It's an extremely large storm. Are your emergency kits ready? The Federal Emergency sure Management Agency is urging people to lay in supplies and stay off the road. 
Once the snow and ice starts and the temperature drops, stay where you are. The most important thing is uh, don't take the storm for granted. And most of us were listening. We went out and got our bread, got our milk, got our butter. We're all set. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> we're good to go. I'm ready to rock this storm. And stay inside and enjoy it. One big question still up in the air about tomorrow. What is the federal government going to do? Will the Office of Personnel Management close down offices in the D.C. area? There's a conference call at 9 p.m. tonight, and then federal employees will know about coming to work tomorrow. They promise by about 10 p.m. Live in Northwest D.C., Bruce Lachey and WUSA 9. Everybody is waiting for word there, Bruce. Thank you. And coming up at 530, Mayor Bowser apologizes for last night's traffic mess that left drivers stranded for hours. Well, schools across our area have already canceled classes for tomorrow. Yeah, D.C. public schools closed. Catholic University going to close at noon to Virginia, where the public school closings are adding up. Arlington County, Fairfax County, Prince William County, Loudoun County, Alexandria City and Manassas City. No school for any of you to Maryland, Montgomery County and Charles County. Public schools are closed along with the University of Maryland College Park campus. Prince George's County schools and Frederick County schools had already planned the day off for students. The potential bad weather is not only impacting Metro, but travel by air too. American Airlines announced it will begin canceling flights into three Washington Baltimore airports beginning tomorrow afternoon. So all of the flights here will be grounded on Saturday. There is a similar cancellation policy in effect at the other airports in the Northeast. The major airlines are issuing travel waivers to allow passengers to try to rebook flights and avoid the blizzard in Prince George's County and pretty much everywhere. As a matter of fact, shoppers flocking to the grocery stores and hardware suppliers to stock up for the storm with each passing hour. The search to find key items becoming more desperate. WSA 9's Andrea McCarran out there to brave the crowds at Costco in Lanham. You're there live inside the store. So Andrea, just how difficult was it to get in and out of the aisles and get the stuff you needed? Adam, salt, shovels, snow pants, snow boots, all sold out. And several other popular items are now in short supply. The shopping frenzy at Costco was as historic as the incoming storm. It's pretty hectic. Uh, the parking lot looks like they're giving stuff away. Staples like milk, bread, and water snapped up as soon as shelves could be restocked. We got vegetables and fruits and our dog's food. Parents were planning for a string of snow days. Hopefully we'll go sledding and make snowmen. And we got popcorn and we're um, popcorn and chocolate. For my kids, snacks, you know, got nuts and stuff with the husband and, you know, all healthy stuff, I think. All healthy stuff. Many purchased meals that didn't need to be cooked in case they lose electricity and plenty of drinks. Not alcoholic, okay. of course. We don't want disabled people to fall down. <laughs> what is the one item you cannot live without in a storm? My wife. Art Miller waited in a long line for just one item, batteries. Hey, if my wife tells me to do something, I do it. <laughs> Smart man, well think about it. What is the one item that you just couldn't live without in a storm? We'll hear from a lot more Prince George's County shoppers coming up tonight at 6. Until then, reporting live from Lanham, Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9. Hopefully you got the kibbles and bits stocked up for buns. We can hear him back there just kind of <laughs> whining at everybody coming and going. All right, Andrea, thank you. Now, if you do still need to stock up, Costco is open until 8.30 tonight. Other stores are open even later. Now on to the Virginia side where crews and emergency personnel are preparing there for this historic snowstorm. Have a look at the scene in Arlington last night. Just a nightmare. It's pretty much everywhere played out. Residents across the Commonwealth are certainly hoping things go a lot smoother tonight, and they should. Saray Chin live for us in Fairfax at VDOT's headquarters and Fairfax County's command center, where they will be closely monitoring this storm and where to allocate their resources. Saray. Adam, they say they are prepared here. Northern Virginia gearing up, VDOT gearing up. They've even laid down a bunch of salt in the command center parking lot, a place that's going to be very busy for the next several days. Stay home, they say, something that can't be repeated enough but not emphasized yesterday. County leaders say that cannot, will not happen in the blizzard of 2016.
stay home, stay safe, stay off the roads so that crews can do